How y'all doing? I'm out here with the Henry Repeating Arms Garden Gun, I guess they call it. It only shoots 22 shot shell. What I got here, I got Federal Bird Shot, 25 grain, 12 lead shot. This is what it looks like. And I think Henry missed the mark on this one. It's a smooth bore, so yes, it's a shotgun. But it should have made it where you can actually shoot regular 22s at it. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you can shoot slugs out of a shotgun, smooth bore. I don't, I don't get it. And the other part, I think, where they really missed, if they're going to make it where you can only shoot shot shell, why didn't they make it like the uh, the axe? You know, pistol grip handle and 14-inch barrel. Uh, maybe just me. Maybe I just when I when I first got this, I mean when I saw it, I'm like I, I thought you could shoot regular 22 ammo out of it, but you can't. I think it goes in, but it's kind of funny. I'm not sure if I want to do it because I think there's a pressure problem. I guess the price is right, but I do believe for the same price I could have got a regular 22, and I do believe a smooth bore is. There's an advantage to a smooth bore for shooting shot shell, but does it, is it that much of an advantage? I don't know. Right now, I'm gonna do a stupid test. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be about five feet away. Every time I shoot, I'm gonna go another five, another five. I got five cans of soda. So that, at one point, I'll be 25 yards away. And I got cardboard there with a, uh, Little spots for me to shoot at. Let's uh let's do this thing and see if uh see if they got a winner or did they miss their mark? I, I, I'm gonna say right now they missed the mark already. This should have been just like the axe, as far as I'm concerned. If, if you're just gonna shoot shot shell out of it, shot shell, why couldn't we just make it a firearm, a non FA non NFA item, 26 inch? You know what I mean? This doesn't kick. I do believe it's very quiet. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Eh, this might be a little more than five feet. But that's where I'm going to start because eh, that's just where I'm going to start. Like not. I have no idea where this hits. I'll find out when you guys find out. Soda can to the left. This is about five feet. Very effective. Very effective. Okay, we'll move back. Yeah, we'll call it ten. It might be a little more than that. Soda can. Still very effective. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go five more. Look at all the soda on the. Okay. There we go. I'm going to the fourth dot now because I think I'm going to have to aim at the bigger ones here soon. Nice that wind will stop. So okay. Still very effective, I see. Go five more. Maybe I'm a little wrong on this, but man, I can tell you, if you put this in an axe form, that'd be awesome. Okay. I'm going with the bottom left dot. Soda can. <laughs> it actually seems like it got better. All right, I'm gonna put this stick here so I know where I'm at. Let me go up here and put another can up. I might need to put more cans up. Hang on a second.
The one to the right was not penetrating. So separate them a little bit. Maybe we'll stretch this out a little. Going back five more. Middle dot. Soda can to the right. Pretty good. Okay, five more. Shooting the one to the right. Set a can all the way to the left. That's still viable. Okay. I'm not sure how many I have left. I'm going to back five more, and I'm going to shoot that soda can in the middle. Right there, we're starting to get to, uh, might be a little too far. I have another shot. I'm going to shoot at that black steel target. I'm a little impressed. I didn't think I was going to get that uh, get that far. The problem is now I might have messed the whole thing up. So now I don't know what cans which. But we do know uh, what the shot was. Now the problem is all the cans sprayed all over it. I mean you can see that. That's a half decent pattern there. And that's a little more than five feet. There you go. About a little more than 15 feet. I skipped this one because I knew it was going to be infringing. But we got some shot here. It's a little more than 20 feet. 25 feet. All right. 30 starts spreads out really, really really much here's 35 and then 40 i got pellets on there <laughs> know what you're all thinking about these cans i stepped on one i didn't like that mm. i do believe this was like the 30 or so still that can is completely empty this is probably at the 20 who knows but that can is definitely empty with a lot of shot in it now we got some we still got some soda in here so that might have been the longest one when I stepped on I do believe that was probably the 30 there who knows Ugh. you hear a shot in there now these cans were not open I mean that's a lot of pressure that that if you could bust the can open you could kill a squirrel this one barely penetrated. I think this was the, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I think this was 30. I think. And there's the first one. Ah! That's definitely viable for a snake, rat, squirrel, bird, whatever. I don't know. 
Let me let me know what y'all think. I'm just thinking a hey, Mr. Mark. I mean, the garden gun I remember it always that I always wanted. I really wish I could find is a single shot, 22 mag smooth bore. You guys know where one of those are at? Give me a heads up. God bless. Bye.